Though the athletic season is over for the year, training for athletes at all levels must continue. Our rally went to investigate. Stretford Athletic Club has a phenomenal track record for producing world-class women athletes. I went along to a training session to see Shirley Strong coaching four young hopefuls. Great, that was really good. The, the one thing, Louise, that I noticed there you were doing, when you're bringing your lead leg over, you're not snapping it down quite fast enough. If I joined the club more or less as soon as I started athletics. And you started at school, pretty much? Yes, I started at about the age of 14. Um, I competed in a school meet and then they advised me to join um, an athletics club, so I came here. When you knew you were entering world-class standards, how did you go about continuing your training? What, what did you have to do? Um, I just had to train a lot harder because up until then, which was probably about 17 years of age, I didn't train very hard. I used to just enjoy the sport very much. But then I realised that perhaps I did have a little bit of potential or talent and decided that I would put the work in that I needed to and that's how it carried on from there. What about youngsters that are training and, and want to be in the Olympics? How do they go about doing that? Well they have to join a club. They, the first thing they've got to do is get into a club, um, find a club with a good coach in the particular event you want to do mm. um, and then enter all the events that they can do to get the competition that they need. But why Stretford's great success? The answer, it would seem, lies with Jim Harris, their coach. Jim is wonderful. Jim is the backbone of the women's team here at Stretford. He's got a group himself of about 20 athletes, um, which he brings out the full potential in any athlete that he gets hold of. He's just absolutely great with all of them. Yes, a lot better. Very much better. You can, you can see that these muscles here are not quite as tight, not quite as... Michelle's got this wobble in the cheeks. If you're on, when you're completely relaxed, all your jowls there wobble and shake, and you can see it. If you're not running like that, there's no wobbling of the jowls. We started this club just uh, short of 20 years ago, and uh, we worked very hard in the early days. And in the last, uh, what, 10, 12 years, we totally dominated the women's scene in this country. Um, when we had young athletes developing like uh, Sharon Collier and Nena and Joku and recently Shirley Strong, this has been the impetus, it's given the drive to the youngsters and marvellous having these top athletes because now all the youngsters want to be as good as they are. Um, that's for winning the English schools and then I've got three for going to the English schools three times and then the just standards that you achieve, that some of the others. Do you think you're going to make it to the Olympics? Well, I'm going to try. Hard work, eh? Yeah. Dawn, what do you think it takes to make a world-class athlete? Well, de determination and just the will to win. Do you think you got it? Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of training do you do? Well, all depends on if it's winter training, it's heavy, you know, mm. 300,000. But it's summer, like we just do sprints, 40 metres, and things like that. At first, I was just doing sprints and just I had a go at everything. Mm. And you're concentrating on hurdling now? Well, mainly, I do a lot of um, pentathlons. And Things like that. Is the training for hurdling very different to that from sprinting? Well, yeah, because you've got to get the technique right. 